Hey, this is Tim. Today I'm going to show you how to measure the depth of the water in your well. <clears throat> to start off by saying what the tools are that I use. First thing I like to use is a decent quality fiberglass 100 foot tape. Um, our well is 100 feet deep and the water level is typically down around 50 or 60 feet. So I feel I need a longer, need a long enough tape to do that. Um, a good quality fiberglass tape will not have curls in it. It also will be strong in case it and were to get stuck down in there. You might be have a chance of pulling it out. Um, the other thing I have is obviously have a weight hanging on the end of the fiberglass tape. In this case, I like to use a plumb bob. Um, it's just a typical contractor's plumb bob. Um, I don't know, five bucks or something at the hardware store, a piece of string. Um, I like the plumb bob because it's heavy for its size. It's pointed. It's also brass, so it won't rust. The other thing you need, going to be helpful, I should say, is a flashlight. I like to look down in there and see what the water level is, just to get a just to get a sense of of how far I have to go. Um, so the first thing I like to do is take enough. Um, Sorry, I'll, I'll step back. First thing I like to do is actually to look down the well and get an approximation of where the water level is. So um, start by doing by taking off the well cover, the well cap. It does have set screws on it. See them here and here. Um, if they're tight, you're going to have to loosen them. Uh, ours isn't really tight. We check it quite frequently, so they're just kind of on there. <clears throat> so we can usually just lift the cover right off. Set that aside. I like to look down in the well. I can see the water down in there, and it looks like it's probably at around 60 feet or so. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bunch of my fiberglass tape and lay it on the ground. I got about 70, about 70 feet laying on the ground. That should be enough. So, next thing you do, you want to take your plumb bob and you want to drop it in there. Now, the important thing to know here is that in order for this to work right, you cannot have the side of the, the tape touching the side of the well anywhere between here and where the plumb bob contacts the water. If it does, you won't be able to accurately hear when the plumb bob <clears throat> hits the water. So, I'm going to take my flashlight. I'm going to watch it as I'm dropping it down in there. I'm going to stand up. I do find it's easier to stand up. So, I'm just watching it. I'm watching it. It's dropping down in. There's a little twist here in the feet. Okay, just ready to hit the water. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm going to bring the camera closer. It might really mess things up here. But hopefully, you can hear the sound. So that sound, that's how you know that the plumb bob has hit the water and you just merely just measure where the tape says what the tape says where it touches the top of the casing here in this case it says 60.8 feet and you can just measure the top of the casing you don't have to worry about measuring to the ground level or anything because if you always use this as your measurement point then you'll always get the same relative uh, uh, measurement so that's pretty much it and I just Pull the tape up. I do like to do it this way because you can feel on the tape 
when you actually start, and there's, if there's water on it, like if it touches the side, you'll know, like in this case, I'm at 26 feet, and I started feeling the tape being wet. And that's because when I was pulling it up, the tape touched the side of the well, so I know that there's probably, there's water coming into the well at somewhere about 26 feet above, above where the water is sitting in the well right now. Also, you can also kind of get a feel for the water quality when you're doing this as far as minerals and stuff. You can see that this tape was pretty dirty, but uh, you can see that the water is actually fairly clear. It's coming off a little bit of a rust tinge, but it's pretty, ex pretty expected in a well. Um, <clears throat> so, if you do this enough times, if you do this enough times, um, you'll pretty much uh, be able to do it. Uh, I come down here and I measure this, and it only takes me about five minutes. So you get good enough; it uh, it's easy. So uh, I hope this helps. Um, I might uh, put another video on here in the f not too distant future about how to measure the flow rate in your well, which is basically using the same technique to measure it, but you're but you're pumping some water out and then measuring it a few minutes later. So um, I'm going to do that in another video. So I hope this helped, and, and uh, good luck with your well.